lifestyles of their country. We'll see this. I'm Selva Karapati. I work at Cisco Systems, a video technologies group. I'm also an invited expert at W3C Worldwide Welcome Consortium. So, water. Water is a shapeless, it flows everywhere. Whichever medium it takes, it takes the shape. So, it flows limitless, it's boundless. A whale, an organism in the water, which requires a lot of it to live. Same case for the camel, but it requires very less. The difference is conception. Internet is like water. It can flow everywhere. Right now, it flows in my laptop, mobile, watches soon, glasses, shoes, future. So, water, internet is more like a water. Can you relate the wave over here? Can you see, any one of you see the wave? Yeah, it's a huge data hungry device. Streaming a 180p data in your TV. It's huge, it requires a lot of data, a lot of internet connectivity. But how about this? Your car, your navigation system, which requires only a few KBs to MBs. We use a lot of devices day by day. Rings, chains, they're just methods. Consider if these become smart, how they like it. This session is more of a reimagination, nothing else. Let's reimagine. Everyone has a fridge at home. Okay? So consider you are throwing a birthday party the next week and you are invited your friends. As a busy people, we will tend to forget to fill up your grocery stuff. If the fridge is connected to internet, it's smart enough to tell you, dude, you need to buy the groceries for this stuff. It will be helpful. Many of you go for gymming most of the times. Gym, hit the gym. Uh, times due to some busy schedules we miss it. Fridge, it calculates your presence on the gym and your absence and tells you what food you need to eat to maintain your good health. Interesting, right? Smart TVs. Do you think TVs right now are really smart? No, it is not. Connecting an internet, streaming a data doesn't make it smart. The real thing comes, you can stand watching a TV and someone ringing my door. But I need to cut it off, go there and check it out. Some guy is asking for address. Let's say it in the futuristic world. We have a cap recorder over there. When someone rings, a whole layoff or the TV comes and tells, dude, someone is there. Want to talk to him? You can put it on your remote and ask who are you, what you want. Things done. Seamless user experience. Let's see it in a different way also. You like a movie in Facebook and it's showing on HBO. You really don't know about bad stuff. So all of a sudden, a pop-up or a subtle notification says, Hey man, Iron Man is going on this channel. You want to watch? <coughs> That's your preference. The TV adapts your lifestyle. Everyone is talking about e commerce Let's have a look on e-commerce. We have a, like, I love Superman. And, and the movie was going on that. And I'm using a mobile device as a remote control. Okay? Uh, this is going to hit the market in another two, three years. I folks, okay? So, your remote will be gone and your mobile becomes your, the mobile is called companion device. iPad or anything becomes your remote control. Remote control, the iPad, it shows this particular shirt has been available in eBay. You want to buy for this? And the event which is happening on the TV, there is some event is happening over there. You want to go? e commerce That could be possible with the smart connected devices. Smart roads. Roads become too smart to tell you what is the road condition next after the 5 kilometers. Bangalore guys would have obviously known the new road may have a bottle. You have no clue where it is. But the road tells your vehicle, dude, there's a bottle there, make your corrections right. Consider most of the accidents happens in America 
It's basically because of the vehicles who have a problem and they're stuck in the vehicle. These smart lights at the night tells the vehicle, the, arounds the stall vehicle and shows like there's an accident, you can turn. Okay? You have seen in many roads, a lot of lights will be burning all the day. But if the road is really smart, depending upon the car location and the sensors, it turns on and off the light. How much energy you can save? Connected devices. I don't say it's a connected device, though we have like few pollution control cars available, which is rightful to drive in California, but it is not for full time usage. I would say it's a vehicle with hyper knowledge, you could say that. You have a mobile device, everyone will be having a mobile device for sure, a smart device. You take it in your car, plug it in, your car can, that particular car converts into your own digital experience. Consider you are at a party and I want to go home. It tells me the correct route with less traffic. And your car is being connected to the cloud based systems that says when your car needs to be serviced, when you need to change the oil. Consider many of the time I forgot to refill my fuel my car. That scenario it says where is the nearest petrol bank where you can refill it. Smart cities. Particular in Bangalore, it is quite common, like few areas have like more pollution compared to any other place. Sensors hidden out there will tell the government these places, these things have pollution more. For particular instance, the zinc content is more, the carbon content is more. It means the industry emitting the carbon ratio is more. It gives the government a clear idea what to take the decision. Bangalore and any other place in India is quite known for people jumping signals. Detecting your car has a smart device and a signal has a smart connector. When someone does a violation, they will be immediately caught. So there is a no room for violation. This about like a 40 percentage of um, about like 40 percentage of accidents in happen in Bangalore because of drunken driving. Okay. Consider this. Imagine me the scenario with me, guys. I have a, a so in a particular bar, your tumbler or the glass jar is made up of smart glass. Okay. How much liquor you take, it detects it. And provided every person is wearing a band, smart band. Okay. So the amount of alcohol consumption in the in the glass is detected in your handbag. Whenever you tend to drive the car above the alcohol level, it will not allow you to open the car. Instead, it will call the call driver. I can tell you a special scenario like this, a similar scenario with which Singapore have already implemented. They did it in a different way. Urinates. Every person entering the bar should wear a smart bag. And the urinals detect your alcoholic content, how much alcohol intake you did. If your alcoholic intake is more, the person at the valid will never give you it. Interesting, right? Connected machines, same case. If you want to wash your clothes, if you are away from that, do that. Do this. This is itself is a huge topic, to be frank. Wearables, most of them think it is related to health. No man, it is not. That is the bad idea brought out by Samsung and Apple. To be frank, a lot of good wearable things are in place. Consider, we have a lot of female distress happening in India. Let's say a female is going out and she is wearing a hood, dress with a hood. Consider, if kind of any distress, she just need to up the hood. That passes the information to the nearest police station with your geolocation and your person who is need to be sent information. That makes a difference. Helmets. We have no freaking clue what is coming in my back. Have a helmet display which displays both what's happening in your behind and what's what's going in the front and detects your front vehicle with a red symbol if you're going like too close to him, if you're gonna have an impact. Crazy, huh? And you have a Google Maps inside it and you can listen your songs, talk to the person, infinite possibilities. I have a ring. This is useless. 
I, any human being would love to do a natural interaction. Instead of me talking, I read it out there. It's not going to make any sense. This is not a presentation. Natural interface makes things more connected. If I want to change a channel, I have a ring in my hand. Change channel. Natural gestures. There's already an implemented project out there. Shoes. It is not necessary everything should be visual. It could be different also. Shoes tells you way. Consider, I have a mobile app and it's connected to my smart shoe. And I want to say like I want to go to a particular place. The moment when I want to take left, my left shoe vibrates. The moment when I want to take right, my right shoe vibrates. I want to go straight, both shoes vibrate. How about that? You don't really need anything. No visual interface at all. Visual becomes secondary with the wearables. And of course you guys would have known about your heartbeat sensor, blah blah blah. Those things are already there in the place. But they are not the mainstream. These are the mainstream which is going to pop in. ID cards. I believe people working with big organization or a small organization, they will be having a problem with appraisal. Your smart card, your identity card becomes your appraisal system. For example, the time you check in, your office, the work you do, everything will be calculated and put it on your smart card, your employee card. It's not done manually. Consider I'm a developer. I do a lot of checking on my code or create a mock-up or do something like that. How much level I put it in my common repository, the grade points will be increased in my system. The final end of the day, on appraisal, it's not your manager going to do that. The computer going to tell you how much efficient the way you are. At what time of information, I mean the stay in your office, how much you have completed the work, how much it created a business impact. It is not only the completion, how much business impact you have brought into the organization. So, this is an industry. Android, which is something called Bluetooth 4.1, which is the latest one, which comes in the place in the next couple of years. What it basically does is like, it's basically a cloud connected technology. Bluetooth we used to connect with mobile phones and something like music players, that's all. But what happens is, with this expanding of this technology, you are able to connect to the cloud and you can transfer data into it. Starting from your smart shoes, your ring, your any wearables will be having Bluetooth 4.1 in the next couple of years. If all these devices becomes your part of your life, think about it. Your life becomes so easy. You don't need to worry about it. You become stressless. But wait. Let's come to the reality. What's the reality out there? The, these are the few things which are real right now. Smart bulbs. So smart bulbs, what they do, depending upon the room, you can change the color using your mobile app. Okay, that's cool. What is, what is so interesting about it? This room, obviously most of them will be like visual designers. Can you able to get the information clearly? Is it looks good or it could be better? I believe light is distracting a little bit. If it is a smart light, it will detect the presentation happens. And that's the primary scenario and it adjusts according to that. It is still available. Smart box. I'm at office. All of a sudden my dad says I'm at home. And he's with me. You have to either wait for me or you have to come to my office. Consider I have this lock at my home. I can open it from my office and let me die. Thermostats. Thermostat doesn't make much of a sense in India, though, like apart from air conditioning systems, but in US and other countries, cold countries, it makes a difference. Setting your room temperature before you come up, it works out. This is one of called Nest, which is recently acquired by Google. Just it doesn't have any interface. Just a piece of glass metal which just controls the things. Fitness wearables. You would have obviously known this, and I don't really need to talk on that. Last but not the least, how can we forget this? Google Glass, which is the next step towards the wearables. You can watch movies, talk to a Skype friend, get directions, check in, even people do right things. I want
want to end this presentation with this sweet and simple. The best way to predict future is to create it. Just imagine. Imagine to create things. And imagination, technology should be a shouldn't be a problem for imagination. Thank you. Any questions? Thanks a lot.